Welcome to Canvas tutorial. Today we are going to start our first lecture on general organic chemistry that is the GOC. This is a lecture number one which is a concept builder. Okay, We will learn some very important elementary concepts from this lecture. Now before going to start organic chemistry, let us take a look at this that what are the branches of organic chemistry. Now organic chemistry is broadly categorized into two things basic organic chemistry and advanced organic chemistry. In the basic part general organic chemistry that, that is your GOC, stereochemistry and reaction mechanism is present and in the advanced part reactive intermediate name reaction and reagent. Now as you can see that most of the questions come from this advanced organic chemistry part and I have already uploaded some videos in the reagent and name reaction playlist you can check that. But in this case basic organic chemistry wh why we learn this because these three chapters are the basic pillars of organic chemistry. In order to understand the advanced part uh, more properly and in order to understand it easily, you need to cover this basic part first. That is why I am starting this GOC series. Okay. Now, let us take a look at these three carbon ions. Okay. In these three carbon ions, if I ask that what is the donor ability? Donor ability in this negative charge means uh, there is a excess electron uh, density over that carbon atom and uh, what will be the donor ability that means which uh, species will donate electron easily. Okay. Take a look at the donor center here the donor center is this carbon atom okay. and what is the hybridization hybridization is sp3 and now for this case this carbon atom is the donor center hybridization is sp2. And in the third case, this carbon is a donor center and hybridization is sp. Okay. Now, remember whenever this type of question comes that is the donor ability they are asking, then you need to check the uh, donor center and its hybridization first. Okay. So, to check the donor ability, consider the hybridization of the donor center first. This is a tip number one. Okay. Now, we have already checked that these are the hybridization. And if you take a look at the percent S character, I have already made a uh, separate video on percent S character in the inorganic playlist. You can check it. I have already put the link on the description box. Okay. Now, this is the hybridization SP having the percent S character 50 percent for SP2 it is 33 percent, 33.33 and for SP3 it is 25 percent. Okay. Now, S character percent S character is directly related to the orbital electronegativity and the donor ability. How? Because if percent S character increases, then automatically the orbital electronegativity will increase and as electronegativity increases, then the donor ability should decrease. What we get that for sp3, it will have the highest donor ability because it has the least S character percent S character and for sp, it will have the uh, lowest donor ability. So, if you um, make the order, the order will be somewhat like this, uh, this greater than first one greater than second one and second one greater than third one. This will be your order of the donor ability. Clear? Okay. Now, this is the next topic that is a let us some let us talk about the CH bond strength. Now, we have already seen that carbon uh, there are three types of carbon sp, sp2 and sp3 and the electronegativity order is like this sp carbon is the most electronegative then sp2 then sp3 clear now uh, in order to understand the bond strength let us take a look at the simplified molecular orbital diagram of ch bonds this is nothing but the molecular orbital diagram of ch sigma bond we are just considering the sigma bond now look at this this is the electron neg negativity order sp carbon is the most electronegative then sp2 then sp3 clear and hydrogen is uh, less electronegative than carbon so, you should remember that higher the electronegativity, lower will be the energy. Look at this, this hydrogen and these carbons are the energy level of these atomic orbitals are lower than this hydrogen. Clear? This, this is a very important concept. If uh, electronegativity increases, then automatically the atomic orbitals will lie in the lower position in the molecular orbital diagram. Okay. 
Now between this sp3, sp2 and sp carbon, look at this sp3 carbon is in the top then sp2 then s. Here look at this sp carbon being highest electronegative, it is present in the lowest position. And now um, if sp carbon uh, forming CH bond with this hydrogen, then it has a lowest uh, bonding orbital sigma uh, CH bond, sigma sp CH bond and lowest sigma bond means it will have highest sigma star CH bond. It is a rule of the barycenter and uh, according to the uh, molecular orbital diagram, we know that if there is bonding orbital, there will be an corresponding anti-bonding orbital keeping the barycenter fixed, clear. So, this is the concept. Now, uh, from sp carbon, this is forming sigma sp CH here and sigma star sp CH here. From sp2, sigma sp2 CH here, sigma star sp2 CH here and for, from sp3, sigma sp3 CH here and sigma star sp3 CH here, clear. Now, remember that we are only considering the simplified molecular diagram for CH sigma bonds. So, one, carb one electron from hydrogen and one electron from carbon, they are forming this two electron and, th and uh, this two electron are present in the bonding orbital. So, the bond order will be 1, okay. Now, remember that lower the energy of the bonding MO, higher will be the stability of the bond. It, it, it is very elementary concept that if the energy is lower, then automatically stability will be high. Now, higher the bond strength. If stability of the bond is greater, then greater will be the bond strength. So, from here what you can see that bonding MO is this uh, a sigma SPCH that means SP carbon forming CH bond will have the lowest uh, energy, okay, lowest energy of this bonding MO. So, from here what we can say the bond strength follows this order. SP carbon CH, SPCH greater than SP2 CH greater than SP3 CH, okay. Here one correction should be there. This hydrogen should not be here. This hydrogen should not be here. Okay. So, what is your order? Your order is SPCH greater than SP2CH greater than SP3CH. Clear? Okay. Now, bond strength is proportional to the bond dissociation energy. It is very important concept because uh, some uh, in some question you can find that they are asking bond dissociation energy. Bond dissociation energy means the energy required to cleave the bond. Okay. So, if bond strength is higher then automatically bond dissociation energy will be higher. Now, look at this question. This has been asked in the CSIR net December 2016 where they have asked the correct order of bond dissociation energy. Remember bond dissociation energy and bond strength are proportional. That means, if bond strength increases, automatically bond dissociation energy will increase. Now, look at this. There is a, uh, this CH bond is phenyl ring. That means, there will be double bond. Okay. But the bond strength will be SPCH will be, will have the highest bond strength, then SP2CH, then SP3CH. Clear? Clear? Now, for this case, this CH bond for A, this carbon is SP2 carbon. For the B, for the case of B, this carbon is your sp3 carbon. Why sp3? Because you need to remember that there is another hydrogen here which is not shown here. So, there will be another hydrogen. Okay. Now, for the last one that means this one, this carbon here a triple bond is present. So, it is your sp carbon atom, spch. Clear? Now, this is the order of bond strength if the bond strength uh, follows this order, automatically bond dis dissociation energy will form the same order and if bond dissociation energy follows this order, then automatically what will be the order of bond dissociation energy? That means C having the SPCH is high is of highest bond dissociation en energy, then, uh, then A, then B. So, which option is correct? Option number D is our correct option, clear? Option number D is our correct option. Okay. Now, this is very uh, elementary mathematical concept that for the polygon like this triangle, square or pentagon, okay, the internal angle, what is internal angle? This is the inside angle, internal angle. The formula is n minus 2 one into 180 divided by n, it is in the degree. So, if you put the value n equals to 3 for triangle, it will be 60 degree as you all know n equals to 4, 
it will be 90 degree and n equals to 5 it will be 108 degree okay now we are going to discuss these two uh, system <coughs> this is a triangular system and if you take a look at that what is the internal bond angle if i say that i have already uh, said uh, and you all know that this triangle has internal bond angle is nothing but 60 degree okay this 60 degree and what is the hybridization of this center if i ask the hybridization of this carbon atom this is your sp3 and this is your sp3 carbon atom okay now internal bond angle internal bond angle is lesser than the normal sp3 bond angle normal sp3 bond angle is 109 degree so it is lesser than that now we know that lesser the bond angle lesser will be the percentage character i have already made a video on this orbital electronegativity and percentage scatter i have already put the link on the description box you can check it okay now what we can say that these two bonds will have lesser s character now total s character of this carbon is fixed so if these two bond has uh, lesser s character then automatically what we can see what we can say that this outside portion that means uh, this outside two ch bonds okay this will have higher s character why this two this ch bond these two ch bonds are equivalent so for for, for the same reason uh, this bond this this ch bond will have greater s character because internal two bonds will have lesser s characters now total s character of this carbon atom is fixed so if it uh, has lesser s character in this side automatically in this side s character will be higher and you know that if s character is greater then automatically bonding bond angle will be greater if you check the bond angle it is nothing but your 1 1 8 degree it is your 1 1 8 degree okay this bond angle value is 1 1 8 degree okay now for the same reason just uh, look at this lone pair this lone pair this lone pair will have also greater scatter so this uh, lone pair of this nitrogen is present in a orbital having greater s character now what i have said that s character is related to the electronegativity that means greater s character means greater electronegativity and greater electronegativity means the donor ability will be lower clear so if percent s character increases then the donor ability will be lower okay is it clear okay now what is the question question is that compare the basicity of the following secondary amines a b c what is the difference all are secondary cyclic amines but the ring size is different ring size different means internal bond angle is different clear now basicity they are asking basicity okay remember basicity means that is uh, nothing but your donor ability you know that lewis base donates electron density so basicity means they are basically asking what is the donor ability okay now what will be the steps first check the internal bond angle okay after that uh, what you should check check the percent s character of the internal bond and corresponding uh, to that uh, percent s character you can easily say that if percent s character of internal bond is lower then automatically percent s character of external bond will be higher so then accordingly determine the percent s character of the lone pair this is nothing but qualitative uh, determination okay uh, percent s character of the lone pair containing orbital that means the external portion okay this is your uh, third step in the fourth step what you can say that higher the s character of this orbital higher will be the uh, orbital electronegativity that means the orbital containing lone pair you, you need to consider that orbital now once you uh, determine this from here you can easily say that higher orbital electronegativity will lead to the lesser donor ability and therefore lesser basicity so this is our steps first check the internal bond angle then the percent s character of internal bonds and uh, you, you can say qualitatively that it is lesser or greater accordingly determine the, the, the percent s character of the lone pair containing orbital then after that move on to this percent higher the s character of this lo, lone pair containing orbital higher will be the orbital electronegativity and lesser will be the basicity clear this is the step now following this four step uh, these five steps we are going to determine the basicity of these three a b c now internal bond angle is 60 degree for the first case 90 degree and 108 degree for the last case clear a has 60 degree b has 90 degree and c has 108 degree 
now here internal bond angle increases as you can see from left to right internal bond angle increases from left to right so highest internal bond angle is for c then b then then a clear now if bond angle increases so the s character will also increase you know that bond angle uh, is proportional to the percent s character so automatically s character will increase s character of which s character of this internal bond remember this is very very important s character of internal bond s character of the internal bond increases as you move from left to right so the internal bond s character is greater for this case the internal bond s character is greater for c than b than a now if internal bond has this uh, order automatically the s character of the lone pair containing orbital which is present in the external portion will uh, follow the uh, opposite order that means the s character will decrease from left to right here the order will be the s character of the uh, s character of the lone pair containing orbital is is highest in case of a then b then c clear now electron donor ability you can easily say that if the orbital electronegativity uh, increases donor ability uh, will also decrease clear so here what can we say that highest uh, s character is in the case of a so highest orbit uh, in case of a this lone pair containing orbital okay for a it has the highest s character that means highest orbital electronegativity so if it has highest orbital electronegativity then its donor ability will be lowest clear so the donor ability increases left to right it is just following the reverse order as it follows the s character percent s character uh, because if percent s character increases donor ability decreases clear so uh, the highest donor ability will show will be shown by this c so this is the order of your donor ability c greater than b greater than a so the order of basicity what will be the order of basicity if you check check the order of basicity it will be somewhat like this somewhat like this okay c greater than b greater than a okay so i hope you enjoyed the lecture if you uh, like it please share and subscribe okay and thank you happy learning